Meet Devin Hayes, a 6'8 forward who is the star player at Michigan State and has scouts projecting him to be a lottery pick. Born and raised in a tough neighborhood, basketball was Devin's escape and his skills on the court quickly gained attention. However, during the offseason going into his sophomore year, things took a turn for the worse. Look, there was one thing scouts were concerned about when it came to Devin. His off-court decision-making was questionable. And on this specific night, he proved to the world why. He was with the wrong crowd when they entered the gas station with the intent of committing a petty crime, but it escalated to armed robbery where Devin was ultimately convicted and sentenced to five years in prison. Just like that, his promising future was gone. At the age of 27, after serving his time, Devin had one focus, continuing his dream of going pro. He trained like a madman and made the most of every opportunity he got. And then it finally happened. He earned a tryout with the Detroit Pistons G League team, Motor City Crews. Despite the odds stacked against them, his performance during the tryout exceeded expectations. He was somehow better now than he was in college. This earned him a contract with the Motor City Crews. But this isn't the end goal. Devin Hayes wants to be on the official roster. Alright, so here is a deeper look at bro, Devin Hayes, a 27 year old, 73 overall G League player. If you look at his contract, he has a year left, basically, no two-way contract, we're gonna work our way up to hopefully land a two-way contract by the end of the year. So the way it works in 2K is I'm controlling the Detroit Pistons, but I can go to Daily View G League only, and today there's no games, but the next day there is games, not for the Motor City Crews. The day after though, November 1st, we have a game against the Wisconsin Hero. I'm gonna assume it's the Milwaukee Bucks' G League team. So looking at the team, Devin is the best player. At a 73 overall compared to the rest, it's not a horrible team. We have Ty Ty Washington Jr. He was on the Houston Rockets, I believe. Now he's on this team. So let's hop into our G League debut. We're gonna start by sim casting uh, and seeing how this game starts off. Milwaukee is take, or Wisconsin, I should say, because Wisconsin is the state that Milwaukee resides in. You know, fun fact, man. I was really good in geography back in the day. But I'm about to hop in the game at about two minutes because it's a close one. And yeah, two point game. So far, Devin has 12 points, 11 rebounds, and four assists. We have a two point lead. Let's try to grow it. Kennedy with the wide open dunk. Ty Ty with the rock. We're clamping up though. Picks up his dribble, passes it to the paint, and they tie it up. Pass the ball to Devin. Nah, Swift is kind of being a ball hog. Step back, makes the shot though. That was clean. No, wide open. No, he missed it. Get the read. Let's go, Devin. Fast break timer, passing it off to Baylor. Baylor, he should go all the way in the paint. Oh, he just stopped. We got Devin with the rock going in the paint. Kick out. Yo, he's just standing still. He, I thought he was going to dunk it. We got Baron now throwing it up, missing it, gets three. No, three seconds left. We got to throw something up. Baylor contested. No, and we just gave him a chance to win this game. Eight seconds left. Ty Ty's getting clamped up. I think he's going to take the last shot. Four seconds left. He's going to go for the three. Pull it up. No, he missed it. Horrible shot. And in our G League debut, we get the win. Now, 12 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 assists isn't bad for a debut. I wish he was more efficient, but not a bad start. For our next game of the season, we're up against the Mad Ants. And uh, remember back in uh, 2K, I think it was 2K19 my career, the Mad Ants was the G League team for the Indiana Pacers. It's in Fort Wayne. And this stadium is way bigger. Are we? Oh, yeah, this is, this is Michigan. This is this Motor City team. Yo, we got a fire court. And we're starting off pretty bad. Yeah, bro. Mad Ants taking over. We came back a little bit, it's, but it's a 12. Nah, nah, not enough time. I mean, we kind of came back in the end, but not really. That third quarter was strong, but we ended up losing by seven. Uh, this time around, Devin with 13 points. He's a really good three-point shooter. You know, four or 10 is pretty solid. So, you know, any team would love to have a three-point shooter. At 6'8", you never know. Now, I'm not too sure how many G League games there are in a season. Let me just go to the end of the calendar and see. Because obviously, the goal is to win a championship with the Motor City Crews. And if he does that, he's basically guaranteed a two-way contract. Looks like April 2nd. So, we got plenty of time. Now, look, our record is 8-2, and two, which is very solid. But there is an issue. Devin has gone down three overalls. He's outraged. Things are not looking good. And to make matters worse, he's out of the starting lineup. Trent Franklin took his spot i guess you could say he got robbed of his spot and it looks like we have a roster update jared rodent of the pistons i know him he can't remain called up to the nba as the nba days assigned to what does this even mean i don't know uh let's return to the g league bro i'm sorry 
even a uh, calzone we're gonna return him back to the g league the good thing for devin is he's getting his shots off you know 13 shots that's solid everyone has to get theirs obviously when you're in the g league you want to score as much as possible so you know you can get an nba contract and look what we have here up against the charlotte hornets g league team i think they're something something swarm i don't even know but they have amari bailey if you guys don't know amari bailey man you don't know ball him and Nick Smith Jr., who also was drafted this uh, past draft, are on this team. And we're back in the starting lineup, so we gotta, gotta have a good game. Definitely more eyes on this one. We could definitely, you know, get some more attention. Oh, it's the Greensboro Swarm. I'm gonna assume that's like a city in North Carolina. Maybe J. Cole was raised there, I don't know. If you, if you know what it is, comment down below. Maybe you're from there. Shout out to you if you are. But this game is looking pretty close. Let me stop real quick and see. Man, Devin is stinking it up. One for 10 is insane, bro. This is a horrible start. Are we gonna get the win? It's close. Let's just hop in. Part of me wants to control the character. So if you guys wanna see that in future videos, let me know. But for now, I'm just having the CPU rock out. I don't wanna manipulate things. We gotta clamp up. Devin on Nick Smith Jr. Big matchup right here. We're on that. He's gotta pass out. Back on him. Good defense. Yes, sir and he's got to pass it amari bailey with the rock spin move pull up contested and he missed it okay we still have a chance to tie it up or win we got swift trying to go in the paint way bigger guy on him you better pass out no he missed it horrible shot and that's the epitome of the g league people are selfish they want to be the star player and that was just a bad shot we got blessed a ba uh, a, ba a bailey amari bailey misses first free throw and his second one goes in we have a timeout in this three-point game. We need a three to tie it up. In the corner, Kennedy, he's a shooter, and he drains it with 0.5 seconds left. That was a huge shot. Would have been nice if, if our guy made it, but it's fine. 0.5 seconds, ain't no way Bailey hits it. No, we're going into OT. And in overtime, we got crushed, man. 117 to 104 is crazy. Uh, Amari Bailey has 16 points, and our guy only had five points, and he had five turnovers, shooting two for 14. Things have got to change now like asap or else his career is over just looking at trent franklin's recent games man he's dropping 20 points here and there left and right and if we look at devin hayes nah not even close 11 points 14 17 very mediocre play now i'm gonna keep it a bug with you guys man i don't know how to play the g league playoffs or if that's even a thing uh yeah, I don't see anything, bro. So I actually just found out that uh, it, that's not a thing in, in 2K. You can't have a separate, you have to do a whole new franchise for it. So that's it. That's his first season. So Devin finished off at a 76 overall, which is solid, but is it good enough to get an NBA spot? Probably not. Considering his best game of the year was 17 points, five rebounds, and three assists, I'd be lying if I said he should be on the team. So next season, we're going to run it back and keep him on the G League. At the age of 28, Time is running out. In the following season, he is signed with the San Antonio Spurs' G League team, the Austin Spurs. Now, this is it. This is his last chance. If he does not perform this year, it's over for him. He's up to an 80 overall after training a lot. And really, he's an 80 overall compared to G League talent. Compared to NBA talent, he'd probably still be like a low 70 overall. But if we're not averaging at least 20 points a game with Devin, it's over. I changed his tendencies to, you know, shoot the ball more. And also what I want to do is make sure I have more isolation plays because, yo, we can't play passive. We need to be selfish and aggressive in the G League to really stand out. And after playing a full year, he's got a hang of it. This is his year. Okay, so an update in this season with the Austin Spurs. It's currently, we're going to go to April 1st. But so far, as you can tell, Hayes is averaging 14.3 points per game this season in the G League. Not bad at all. He's had games where he dropped 25 points, you know, double digits for almost every game. Earlier in the year, he was putting up better stats, it looks like. He had 30 points one game, which is probably his career high. Yeah, 20 points each game. And his efficiency from three isn't so bad. I mean, six for 11, three for seven, that's not horrible. Like I said earlier, the Spurs or really any team could use shooting, but the Spurs specifically, not a good team. In real life, they have like five wins right now. I believe this is the championship game because we both have 30, well, we have 35 wins. They have 35 wins. Let's just say this is for the championship. Can the Austin Spurs and Devin Hayes win it? Or will the Capital City Goo Goo Gaga, I don't know why, what type of name even is that? Oh man, no, they crushed us. Damn, that beat us by almost 40. What? We had other guys step up, bro. Hayes dropped 15, but other guys really stepped it up. This guy, Wendell Jeffries, he's actually 29 years old. Patterson, or yeah, Patterson's 27. 
What's the age of the average G League player? I mean, Boner's 30. That's super old. I mean, yeah, these guys are older. So I guess relative to the rest of these guys, Devin Hayes isn't that much older. And the Spurs are heading into the playoffs with a, a winning record. I think it's time we call him up for the playoffs, man. And just like that, Devin is officially on the NBA roster, but it's temporarily. He's just called up for the playoffs. He's the 11th man, only getting three minutes a game if he even does touch the court. With a team led by Victor Wimbanyama, Devin Vaseline, Malik Monk, and Jeremy, we're currently second in the West. Now we have a small sample size of the NBA games he did play. His first game was at Denver. He got three minutes. He took one shot. Uh, as you can tell, he's not getting shots off like he was in the G League. So he finished out with a total of six points, but I don't consider that making it just yet. With the second seed in the West, we're up against the Memphis Grizzlies. And it's time to see if we can win a ring and uh, in the first round, we end up winning 4-1 against the Thunder. We're down 3-2, and we lose in 6. So no, we are not going to the finals. Instead, it's the Cavs and Thunder, and the Thunder win it with Shea Gilgis. So now it's decision time. Will the San Antonio Spurs give him a two-way contract, or is his career over? And the answer is yes. So look, we signed him to a two-way deal. He has 45 days left. And if he can't prove himself in 45 days, that's it. Video's over, his career is done. But if he does perform well, we'll sign him for the rest of this season. Now the thing is, he's a good shooter, which is the main reason why he's even in this conversation right now. He wasn't too impressed the past couple years, but because he can shoot, in the Spurs knee shooting. As you can see right here, 45 days left and then 2K will force me to make a decision. So let's start simulating. Now I'm not too sure on how it works in 2K when it comes to two-way players. I know in real life they bounce back and forth, but I don't know if it's random in 2K, like what games he plays in. We're gonna find out now. Damn, so far he's putting up 15, four and two, wait a minute. It looks like he's been playing straight NBA games. His NBA debut, he dropped 11 points, three rebounds and two assists. And he improved ever since, you know, putting up 20 points a game. And I don't see him playing for the Austin Spurs for some reason. Like, he's not in the lineup. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but there's, like, some logo, uh, like, above the Rockets thing. I don't know what that says or even stands for. November 2nd, he didn't have an NBA game, but the team did play. And Devin did not. I really don't know how two-way contracts work, but I mean, if he's cooking in the NBA, he's cooking in the NBA. I'm not going to stop him. Let's just continue simulating. We're losing a lot though. I'm not gonna lie. This Spurs seems kind of trash right now. Okay, so now is the moment. Roster update, Jamario Sharp cannot remain called up to the NBA as the NBA days assigned to his two-way contract have ran out and must return to the Austin Spurs. Okay, we're gonna have him return to the G League. Now it's time for Devin Hayes. He's in the same boat. Allow me to review. I wanna see. I'm so confused because he didn't play in the G League, like at all. Look at his recent games. These are all NBA games, unless it's not showing the G League games he played in, which doesn't make sense. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you, man. 11 points, eight points, nine points. It's it's decent, it's nothing great. He's not supposed to be a star player. He just wants, wants, needs to make the NBA. I don't know, I'm conflicted. Do I sign him for the rest of the year or do I send him back to the G League to improve and then come back at the age of 30? And looking at the Austin Spurs so far, their record is eight and six. I think we send him back to the G League. I think we send him back to the G League. So yeah, I'm gonna send him back. I'm gonna send him back to the G League for, for, for the rest of the season. And then we'll try again one more year. I don't think he earned it yet, bro. I feel like if I gave him a spot, I just handed it to him. I don't think he really proved enough to me, to be honest. So we're back in the G League against the Capitains. They got a Mexico G League team, I guess. Yeah, so I'm expecting him to do a lot better in this game, in his, in his first game back. 140, we had 30 point win and Devin dropped 18. Okay, yeah. I need him to do a lot better now. He's played with the pros, so it only makes sense that when you go down, you're gonna dominate. Well, look, he came back and the team is now 33 and 16, by far the best in the G League. So he came back and dominated. You can see his recent games, he's putting up 20 points consistently outside of these two like horrible games. But yeah, besides that, 20 points left and right, double digits easily. I'm not gonna lie, I think he earned a spot. I think he earned a spot because not only has he played good, but he easily made this the best team in the G League with the Austin Spurs going to the championship game against the Capital Goo Goo Gagas once again. So let's simulate with SimCast and let's see if we can win. Would, would this be our third championship in the G League? Or our second, actually. We got blown out last year, I believe. I have horrible memory and we lost. Wow, I got ahead of myself. Wow. Yo, we lost. And now that the G League season is over, I can't bring him back to the NBA for the playoffs. It doesn't give me the option to because I made that decision earlier when I said I'm sending him down to the Austin uh, Spurs. So this season, he's got to watch the playoffs 
from the bench or from the locker room or from home in Austin. Probably is probably where he's at right now. But uh, let's see if the Spurs can do anything, man. We're definitely going to sign him next year. We're the sixth seed in the playoffs. We win the first round. Round two, we take it. Up against the Thunder, we sweep them. And wait a minute. Spurs and Magic, can we win our first ring? Well, technically, it, I, I wouldn't really have won it. Yo, 2-1. 3-1. And the Magic win it in five. So it doesn't matter anyway. Paulo Bancaro wins finals MVP. So I think it's time. I think he's finally earned a chance for an NBA roster spot. So now being an unrestricted free agent at the age of 30, he's an 83 overall. He did his time, like literally in jail, he did his time and he did his time in the G League playing three seasons. And now at the age of 30, he has a chance to be one of the oldest players to really start his career. You never see this happen. Usually if you're 25 years old and haven't already played in the NBA, you're cooked. But Devin is about to beat the odds because we're gonna negotiate a contract and oh, Devin Hayes is not interested in negotiating with the Spurs. That's very interesting. He probably felt some type of way when he didn't get signed for the rest of the season. But this is not smart of him because you were not like deserving of anything, to be honest. You were, that's crazy. What a, what a, what a piece of shit. <laughs> like, the audacity, the audacity of bro to be like, no, Are you, you were just in jail. Like, like 33. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, so I guess we'll see what team signs him. That was a shocker. I hope he doesn't get signed. Matter of fact. <laughs> okay, he got signed. All right. And what do you know? Devin signed with the Washington Wizards. Very interesting. Here's why it's interesting. If you remember the past three seasons in the G League Finals, he was up against the Wizards G League team. Now I imagine, you know, after that championship game, he probably talked to the team and they were very interested in Devin. And then he's in Washington, their official team. Very interesting. He signed a one-year deal worth $8.45 million. That alone, he made it. $8 million, that's more than he's ever seen in his life. Now, this Wizards team kind of sucks. Jalen Brunson, Alexander Saar, Kyle Kuzma, Bilal, not a great team. But one of the reasons he signed is because he is now a starter. Wow, he's really started from the bottom, and now he's here, getting 26 minutes a game. This would be his first official full rookie season, but he doesn't qualify for rookie of the year. Not like Ben Simmons. So let's see if this team can make the playoffs. I doubt it, but hey, we'll see. Damn, the Spurs beat us by 40. Oh, that, that game was personal. You would think that like he would go stupid. Nah, Devin had eight points. He folded, man. You would think he dropped like 100 against the Spurs, but no, that's embarrassing. Hold on now. I'm actually very surprised that we have a winning record. Or yeah, 43 wins and 39 losses. Ant-Man's MVP. Okay, let's check out how we did. Wizards are the fifth seed. Dang, I didn't think we'd be that high. Bet. And in his first official season, full season, he averaged 14 points, four rebounds, and one assist per game, shooting pretty efficient from three. Like I said, he's a sniper. It's just crazy how his free throw sucks. And then he had a season high 31 points in his last game of the year, according to Chris Haynes. Not bad for the undrafted player. So the question is, can we beat the Cleveland Cavaliers in round one? They have Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, you know how the team looks. And we are tied 2-2, up 3-2, and we won a six. Apparently we got Chris Middleton during the season, which is, which is great. I mean, I'll take that. He had 31 for us. Meanwhile, we had 12. We didn't shoot too too good. But we're up against the first seed Pistons. They are the same team. It's not like they got anyone. They just became, they developed. Young team developed. I'm praying this happens in real life, bro. Game one, we take it. Game two, we take it. Hold on, how, how are we doing? Our boy Alexander Saar, I believe he's like a second year player. I don't know, he's, this is his third season. Yeah, he's doing really solid. And we put up 19 points ourselves. Let's see if there's any game we have to hop into. It looks like this is gonna be an easy 4-1, yeah. And we're up against the Indiana Pacers. They got Tyrese Halliburton, Miles Turner, and a couple injured key players. So this should be an easy, easy sweep for us, to be honest. Yeah, 3 1, 3 2, and we're headed to the finals, man. Who would have thought? From G League finals to the actual NBA finals, we're up against the Timberwolves and Ant Man. We're all healthy, and so are the Wolves. So let's see. Game one, we take it with Jalen Brunson dropping 27. We dropped 22. Yes, sir. Game two, they take it. We're down 2-1, 2-2, 3-2. Let's hop into SimCast here. We're at home. If we could win a ring at home, this would be a crazy turnaround. And hold on. It's a close game. Back and forth. I feel like I got to hop in right here. With two minutes left, down by three. Let's get it, man. Jalen Brunson with the rock. He's been having a solid game. I was looking at the stats earlier. And then we got, I don't even know who's guarding Devin, but 
We have Dini Advijinja. Hayes passing it back to Dini Advijinja. Back to Cody Kispert. Okay. Kick out to Brunson. Four seconds left. In the corner, Chris Middleton drains it. They sub Devin out, bro. They put in uh, Bilal instead, and he got an and one. Dang. So now down by four. Brunson's going to attack, miss the layup. Things are not looking good, bro. I don't want to go to a game seven. I want to win it at home. Kuzma throwing it up, missing it. Now nah, that's got to be game. Down by seven with 30 seconds left. I just realized, too, we lost our guy, Alexander Saar. He sprained his right knee. He's out for the season, which is tough. That means we're now the second best player on this team. A lot of pressure. And we're also the oldest player on this team outside of Chris Middleton. So let's be calm, cool, and collected playing in the target center in Minnesota. You know, it's the target center. Oh, no. Oh, we're starting off bad. We're coming back a little bit. No. And we get what, bro? That sucks. That second quarter was horrible for us. We dropped 21 points. We had a great game. But it, it just wasn't enough. This dude, Castle, he's a menace. We were so close, but I'm not giving up just yet. And we're back on another one-year deal. I'm confused on why the Wizards don't want to give him a major big contract. I, I I don't know. Maybe they don't like fully trust him. I feel like bro's been a good Samaritan in the past few years. But I mean, $23 million is a lot. Obviously, if you're an NBA player, you want that big payday of five-year contract. But at the age of 31, he could get injured. Anything could happen. He's not a proven player just yet. I mean, he only put up 14 points last year. This is a big season for him, and the team is looking solid. And we finished first in the East this season. That's nuts. How do we do? We're up to an 86 overall, and we put up 13 points, five rebounds, and one assist. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. This might be his fate. This might be his career, his ceiling, and that's fine. 13, going from prison to averaging 13 points a game, being a good, solid role player, I'm not expecting him to be a star player. That was not the intent or even the expectations. So I could live with this. He's shooting very efficient, but I want to win a ring. I want to get straight to the point and win a ring. I mean, that would be a crazy turnaround. In round one, we win it in six. Round two, we sweep them against the Pacers. Oh, I went too fast. Damn, we lost in six. Damn, I got ahead of myself. That sucks. That sucks, bro. Ah, oh, man. Oh, they got Bronny James. Yo, they got Bronny James putting up 17 points and five assists. Okay. Damn, that... No, 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 hold on. They beat us by 70 points? That's like... That's like haram. <laughs> like, like, are you serious? Really? Really? We put up four points, man. What? Considering every year is a contract year for Devin, that, that's not good. And, and the Pacers end up winning the whole thing. Damn. Moment of truth. Will we get a contract that's multi-year or is another team going to sign him? He's proved himself to be a good role player now after a couple years. We'll see. And he's not back on the team, which can only mean one thing. He signed to the Portland Trailblazers. And funny enough, their old nickname was the Portland Jailblazers, which is a great fit for this guy. But again, only a one-year deal for $24 million. I don't think bro will ever get a multi-year deal. I think there's always going to be that like lingering you know, doubt of him just messing things up and costing a franchise tens of millions. So I, I get it. Now, this team is decent. But he is 32 years old. So we're, let's try to make him $100 million by the end of his career, and that'd be a W in my book. Well, unfortunately, we suffered our first injury, a twisted right ankle, which injured us for a couple weeks, and uh, we're fed up, which is crazy because we have no right to be fed up, man. Life's great. We're, we're millionaires. But uh, yeah, he averaged 12 points this season, three rebounds, a decline. I don't think it was a good idea going here, but the bag was, the bag was, it was nice. Um, we missed the playoffs, of course, so... Yeah, nothing really this season. And the Thunder win the whole thing. Shea Gilgis. And now he's on the Clippers playing alongside Luka Doncic. A bro is 33 years old, but he got his big bag. He finally got a massive contract. Three years, 44 million, which I think if you add it all together, that puts him at like 80 or 90 million in total of career earnings. Congratulations, Devin. You, you made it. But you're in LA. And uh, yeah, so I believe like where the Clippers play, I think is next to like bad areas, but I'm not, I'm not too positive. I mean, Los Angeles isn't the best area in the world either. I think bro will be fine. We're playing with Dick Green. Oh no, Jalen Green and Grady on the same team. Yo, you better clench. Uh, but no, so Ty Ty Washington, remember him from the G League earlier? Now they get to, you know, unite. So, hey, let's finish out this career and see what happens. I have no expectations. Am I, am I, in my head, in my, in my eyes, we already made it. Well, look here, man. We're in the conference finals against the Suns, and we have a chance to go to the finals here. We're up 3-2. 
Game seven, let's hop in. Look, he's still a role player. Even with the Clippers, he averaged like 11 points this season. And oh my God, never mind. Wow, that's an insane blowout. Okay, lost by 40. Isaiah Evans, this guy. What the heck happened? Yo, what happened to, to, to Devin? He had 11 points, but I mean, that's what's to be expected. Elprin, Sangoon, Kumbuck, and Isaiah all dropped 30. They earned it. And they will be losing to Tyrese Halliburton, who wins his second ring. Respect. And after serving his contract with the Clippers, it, it's over, man. He's a free agent at the age of 36. He had a interesting career, man. He played a total of eight seasons. Those last few years with the Clippers were solid. During his eight-year career, he put up 12 points, four rebounds, and one assist. He definitely flipped his entire life around. It was a lot better than what he expected back in prison. I'll tell you that much. His career high was 35 points. And being a sharpshooter, that was his role. He made nine threes in one game as a career high which is very solid he didn't win a single award no finals wins no nothing but he made a lot of money and at the age of 36 10 years ago he was not in this position he was fighting for a g league spot so i would say all in all it was a success man hopefully y'all enjoyed it if you did drop a like and comment down below what you want to see next i'll catch you guys soon peace